Yes, uh, the next section is about eighth habit. We are going to start eighth habit book uh, and we will learn what this habit is about uh, because eighth habit is more relevant in today's world and we need, really need. It talks about our voice. Um, so if you have any question, please feel or you have any comment, you want to share your story, let me know. Well, I'd like to share a little story. It's not a big story, but the sharpen the saw um, habit was so huge to me because I am one of these people that I will work in order to achieve my goal if it is morning till night. I mean, I will not finish until it's done and complete. And what I didn't really understand before, you know, it just hit me in the habits book was the sharpen the saw because you have to take that break. You know, you have to kind of walk away and give your mind the rest. And in the sharp and the saw where, where the man was sharp, he was trying to cut the tree down just all day long, all day. He's just, you know, and, and then once he sharpened the saw, then he cut the tree down immediately because it was sharp again. And I thought, wow, that's so interesting. You do have to, sh to stop and sharpen your skills because at some point that rest is going, if you don't take it, it, it will make your job take, you know, maybe five more hours longer than that one little rest could have, you can come back to it and say, oh, wow, this all comes together and then you're done. So I've used that one for me because I had like a workaholic type problem. <laughs> and so, you know, I was able to balance and schedule and you know, now I use that sharpen the saw. If I need to sharpen the saw, I'll be like, you know what? I've got to take this break. This break will make everything more productive on the back end. Excellent. It's a it's an excellent uh, result which uh, anyone can desire. Uh, absolutely, sharpen the saw is so crucial for leaders today uh, because you always need uh, continuously renewal in your body, mind, heart, spirit. And that body, mind, heart, spirit is the roots of your ultimate success or your journey in this life where we, we are living in this. Because that turns into intelligence. This body, mind, heart, spirit turn into different forms in your, in your, at your work, in your family, in your uh, company, in your community work, in different forms. So you cannot do this until you are continuously learning uh, these intelligence on a daily or weekly basis. I, my, uh, this is my one of the favorite habit. Uh, when I start to uh, feel little demotivated sometimes, uh, because I start to feel I need some new knowledge. I start. I need some new renewal of my uh, current information. What have I about certain thing which is making me a little sad or little. Um, uh, uh, unmoving so that's the, the that's a great shop on the side guys it's a great great point jenny you made absolutely excellent uh, somebody has any question on facebook uh, i don't think so okay so let's go to the habit number eight wow habit number eight is uh, is uh, one of my favorite habit because i learn it later uh, when I really practiced and learned seven habits. So therefore I had a great foundation and therefore I learned eighth habit. Uh, so uh, with that very dedicated uh, time, I want to share my a quick story, how I learned. I was working in university and uh, I used to have uh, my lunch break uh, between one to two o'clock sometime. And uh, uh, I before that I used to go to my library, which was a li uh, biggest library in the in the country, uh, and there I because I had already seven habits experience uh, and learning as well. So where I found eighth habit, uh, and it was like a new book on that time. It was around 2010, yeah, 2009 or 10, I believe, around 10 years before today, uh, and then. Uh, I found it, it was a very thick book. And then uh, I start to read it. And every uh, lunchtime, I used to go to my, uh, my uh, kitchen in a cafe in my 
uh, workplace and from there i used to take 20 minutes out of my uh, lunch time and used to go to library that spent that 20 minute when i used to sit in library to concentrate there was a pin drop silence and i i i was in a different uh, different world to be honestly that was a great uh, time right i spent and i i read all book it took around a couple of months. Every day, 20, 30 minutes I used to give at my workplace in my lunchtime. And it transformed me. And I was like, I'm, I'm flying now. Uh, it was so amazing. Uh, I took it as a sacred literature for me because I was lost, uh, almost lost my voice. And I want to uh, find, uh, I wanted to my find my voice i wanted to discover who what things good i am at what should i do actually in in and why god has sent to me what are the great strengths inside me i really didn't know but once i learned this book everything start to reveal on me everything start to uh, uh, inculcate in me in a very positive way then my personal uh, development was booming uh, my relationship my family relationship were uh, on a sky high my income uh, was uh, increasing as well and my social uh, success uh, was almost on a peak high in the sense that i start to speak uh, in a huge audience to my vice chancellor in one of uh, 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 staff meeting and there I spoke very uh, vocally, very aggressively about the issues we staff used to have. And I, I was thinking that's I that's not I'm, I, I'm at the moment, why I have changed. And then at the deep down, I actually had a different mindset by reading that book. So that book has so significance for leadership development, because Stephen Covey talks about in that book, uh, how you can discover your voice and how, and once you discover your voice, once you find your voice, it start to influence your outer world. And then in the way that they also start to follow their voice as well. They start to find their voice as well. So it's an amazing uh, uh, habit, which was a, a uh, great need of that day, uh, that time when this book was published in 2004. And today is 2021. And that book is still relevant and it will still relevant for next uh, 100 years again, because it talks about leadership development with the natural principle. It talks about the age of wisdom. It talks about the uh, current age of information knowledge worker age that we are living in information knowledge worker age and how we can transform into the next age which he predicted in that book and uh, after almost 18 years 17 years of this book first published uh, I'm witnessing that the how important this literature is uh, because the prediction of Stephen Covey or Age of Wisdom, which he was talking about in that time, it as is as it is revealing in today's life as well, where this is a digital world and everybody is uh, is going for sharp on the saw uh, habit, which uh, the Jenny has uh, explained, and uh, uh, because sharp on the saw is also uh, not only help your uh, finding the voice, but also polishing your voice, continuously renewal yourself. So that is very uh, relate with the habit number uh, eight. So let's talk about uh, learn from habit number eight and uh, uh, what Stephen Covey uh, is saying in habit number eight. Why habit number eight, according to Stephen Covey and uh, why he wrote it actually. Um, and uh, what's the significance of uh, eighth habit? And uh, after seven habits, people still need to follow habit number eight or seven habits are enough? These are the some questions which uh, we will try to learn every Sunday. 
uh, today we are learning uh, as a part one couple of uh, key pages in the book uh, and then it will continue uh, because these chapter uh, this book is consist of lot of chapters and first three chapters are the key uh, key preface or key uh, summary uh, of the cause why earth habit is so important and where the people are feeling pain where are the pains in organizational level and why and then in chapter that's a chapter number 1 about pain chapter number 2 is about why pain so is causes why these pains uh, i have pain you have pain as a family we have pain in companies we have pain why and the chapter number 3 is a solution why how we can uh, get rid of this pain and can transform our uh, into the healing uh, from healing to a uh, great success uh, so uh, so that's the three main uh, chapter which uh, will tell us about the purpose of this book and what we can dig out from this great literature of leadership development because it forms lead leaders it make you really leaders with the foundation of seven habits so uh, because seven habit like i said came in a market in 1989 and this book was published in 2004 so almost 15 years after it was published and uh, because on that time the internet or digital age were were spreading all over the world people were so so much confused with the modernity with the new trends uh, because the people uh, and activities were shifting from physical world to digital world and uh, relationship personal development everything were also disturbed on that time so steven covey actually uh, helped uh, and in in that thing so uh, so let's uh, let's see and let's try to learn from the eighth habit so if you have a question uh, for my facebook audience please let me know then um, i will try to address i hope my voice is okay uh, on for my facebook audience so let's try to learn from the habit number 8 why an eighth habit so if i can uh, request zara if she can read it for us please yeah sure Uh, why an eighth habit the world has profoundly changed since the seven habits of highly effective people was published in 1989 the challenges and complexity we face in our personal lives and relationships in our families in our professional lives and in our organizations are of a different order of magnitude in fact many mark 1989 the year we witnessed the fall of the Berlin Wall as the beginning of the information age the birth of a new reality a sea change of incredible significance truly a new era many have asked whether the seven habits are still relevant in today's new reality my answer is always the same the greater the change and more difficult the challenges the more relevant they become you see the seven habits are about becoming highly effective they represent a complete framework of universal timeless principles of character and human effectiveness being effective as individuals and organizations is no longer optional in today's world it's the price of entry to the playing field but surviving thriving excelling excelling and leading in this new reality will require us to build on and reach beyond effectiveness the call and need of a new era is for greatness is for fulfillment passionate execution and significant contribution these are on a different plane or dimension they are different in kind just as significance is different in kind not in degree but not in degree from success tapping into the higher reaches of human ge genius and motivation what we could call voice requires a new mindset a new skill set a new tool set a new habit the eighth habit then is not about adding more habit to the seven 
one that somehow got forgotten. It's about seeking and hamissing the power of a third dimension to the seven habits the meet, uh, that meets the challenge of the new knowledge worker age. This eighth habit is to find your voice and inspire others to find theirs. Thank you so much. It's a great reading. Okay. Well done. Uh, so the, it, it, it talks about the eighth habit reason, and there are a couple of reasons why eighth habit is uh, so essential and was essential when he wrote it. It is because he said seven, um, eighth habit is not the next habit. It's actually the third dimension of seven habit in a new era, in a new world uh, where information uh, flood is everywhere and uh, where internet and uh, uh, printing press and, uh, uh, and new knowledges and new fields of sciences or social sciences or philosophical sciences or successful literature is at peak. Uh, like I said, uh, last time I was learning uh, from a uh, famous author and he was, uh, he, he said that he needs to, he needs to be, uh, tell that every day the new information and new world is going to be double and books are, and book new publications becoming a double and triple every day, every week, and every month. So, so much literature is going to be published and is, is, is on, on the move. So therefore, we need to have a new tool set. We need to have a new mindset. We need to have a new, uh, uh, great uh, set of uh, uh, values and principle which can uh, us help us to integrate and work in, in the new era. So he met, talks about the Berlin Wall. Anybody knows about Ber Berlin Wall event and what happened? It happened in 1989. Uh, and what happened? Anybody can comment? So, uh, the Berlin Wall actually was a uh, West and uh, East Germany's conflict. Uh, and both have the walls, uh, both country, the West Germany and the East Gen Germany, both have the wall between them. And people from here cannot, uh, could not go to other. Uh, and the families and society were, were entirely different, although uh, both part of the world used to have a same culture. So that was, wall was the wall of, uh, of like a hatred of, uh, of uh, some anger between uh, some, uh, between the leaders of, uh, or, or some people of both sides. So in, in 80, 1989, that Berlin Wall war was fallen down by people and then they made a whole new Germany. And that Germany became uh, a symbol or a metaphor for the rest of the world that now the walls across the borders, walls between the people uh, in the family or at, at the workplace now is going to be removed because we are entering in a new era. We are going to be a part of globalization we are going to be part of uh, a new world where uh, everyone from every culture, religion, or values will interact with every one other. And we cannot be successful if we do not have a specific mindset of, uh, of uh, with different tools, with different uh, uh, values, and with different type of mentality as a person. Uh, so therefore, that habit will help us or has helped us to make, uh, to interact with the other new world in a new era. And uh, the beauty of that uh, eighth habit, it also helped us to how we can enter from our current world, current age, which is information knowledge worker age, 
to the next age, which is the wisdom age. Dr. Stephen call it the age of wisdom. And that's a beauty. And uh, in this book also, uh, in the last chapters, he talks about uh, how uh, we can enter into age of wisdom and what it will be, uh, it will have tools and how we can become more successful uh, with this, the eighth habit as well. So that uh, I will bring uh, with you, I will share with you. We will read from some of the things from the book in coming Sunday uh, and the next classes as well. So, but here we have started uh, something new. So the so the bottom line the of this habit is 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 saying find your voice and inspire others to find their voice. So that's the main heading of this uh, habit. And find your voice. So it has two parts. Find your voice and inspire others to find theirs. That, that's the second part um, of that voice. So it's, it's, it's very self-explanatory uh, that you need to find your voice first so that you will inspire other people so that they can start to find their voice as well. And that's happened in today's world. Uh, the idea of Twitter, uh, why is so popular in the world? Because in, in Twitter, if somebody as a leader, uh, they say something, they speak something, the other people start to follow them, uh, they give them uh, yes, and they start to, so it's a world of followers and leaders as well. So once you become leader, the other people start to follow you because you have found your voice and now you are going to inspire your followers that they will find their voice and then this will go further as well. So it's like uh, you candle a light and then other people start to candle uh, their lights and then further it's going on. So that's a uh, a great spirit which is spreading all across the world uh, and that bring a revolutionary change in leadership development literature and leadership development trainings. Therefore, uh, this habit or similar type of uh, literature is so successful and uh, hundreds of uh, big training companies are talking about finding the voice, follow your voice, discover yourself, who you are, and how you can um, be uh, really truly integrated in current modern era and be ready to enter into the next era as well. So that's a, it's an amazing uh, uh, hab habit and we will uh, we are continue to learn. So this habit is also represent the paths way to enormously enormously promising uh, side of today's reality. It stands in stark contrast to the pain and frustration I have been describing, uh, according to Stephen Covey. In fact, it is timeless reality. It is the voice of human spirit, full of hope and intelligence, resilient by nature, boundless in its potential to serve the common good. This voice also encompasses the soul of organization that will survive, thrive, and profoundly impact the future of the world. So uh, that's he's talking about uh, uh, about the this habit. He's Stephen Covey saying it is a timeless reality uh, that we need to follow the human spirit. Have you ever imagined it must have done with you that Many people in the professions, after spending 10, 20 years, they still are frustrated. They were frustrated and they, uh, they are not really happy, not in terms of money, not in terms of wealth or in, in a higher uh, roles in the organization, but from conscious level, but from their soul level, they are not really happy. Why? because they have not chosen that uh, profession or industry according to their own natural talent or uh, your own voice. So therefore, if you haven't found your voice, 
if you don't know what you are really good at naturally you were born with or you were nurtured with properly and then you were doing some different work because of some reason uh, because of force external forces of the society or the culture made you to enter in the different world uh, which was not your therefore you will lose focus very quickly you will start to uh, demotivate it very quickly you will start to become so irrelevant in that uh, industry or if you are forcing yourself to still dragging your current job or business then you will not transfer the true spirit of energy with your colleagues or with your subordinate uh, or or are doing the very well with the customers as well because that is not something which you were made for and uh, which you are good at which you are really passionate about your passion is something else and you are doing something else you want to you have a dream a uh, person or a soulmate or a partner uh, of different type and you are living with a different partner uh, you want to grow uh, yourself in a different way and you are going in a different way and you do, do not love that country or region but you are living in that country or region you want to uh, work with different type of people and you are working in a, in those people who are not of your type or where your potential is not unleashing why is that why you are so confused why you are in continuously conflict of many years or many decades and and still you don't have courage to change it even i'm telling you steven kavi is telling you and many other people are telling you that come get out from these things get out from uh, from these uh, uh, these thing which are not relevant to you which are not your voice go and find your voice and then people will start to follow your voice but the first thing you need to find your voice and you cannot find your voice until you discover your body mind heart spirit's voice your own intelligences which are relevant with physical or economic intelligence which are emotional or social intelligence which is a mental intelligence related to your iq or more importantly your governing intelligence which is spiritual intelligence if you haven't uh understood uh, that intelligence or discover your soul your inner soul how you can uh, develop your life or different roles in your life and make a justice with them not at all why you have a conflict with your wife why you have a conflict with your husband or partner why you always angry at workplace and your colleague does not like you or either you don't like them as well why your boss is not appreciating you or you don't love to work with your workplace why why you don't want why you still want more money more money in, instead of you have already enough money uh, which you could do something uh, sufficiently for yourself according to your voice but you are not doing you are just a cultural software you are just a cultural uh, a uh, pendulum which is going some sometime here sometime here and just you are just uh, 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 rotating and uh, this uh, rotation is is not stopping because you lost your voice actually you did not lost your voice you haven't discovered your voice because lost comes when you discovered and then you lost it so you did not discover your voice at all therefore you will be a a, a very uh, beautiful product of your society i'm i'm uh, i'm sarcastically speaking here because society love your type of people because they want to drag you here or here your wife or your husband will control you or or your boss will control you they love to control you because you lost your voice so because you don't have uh, the third dimension of the seven habit which is find your voice and inspire others to find their therefore you are no longer leader people will not follow you 
even you will not have a capacity to follow other leaders because people who want to uh, you want people who want to discover themselves they follow other so you are not following other it means you even not in a race to find your voice how pathetic you are so therefore this habit is so crucial if you want to really uh, listen your voice if you want to really know uh, what you are good at so therefore that voice uh, that habit is so so important and uh, how this habit uh, work with us so let's talk uh, learn about the, this habit and uh, that unique voice what uh, according to stephen covey so if jenny if you can read it please voice is unique personal significance significance is that significance that is revealed as we face our greatest challenges and which makes us equal to them as in figure one two voice lies at the nexus of talent your natural gifts and strengths passion those things that naturally energize excite motivate and inspire you need including what the world needs enough to pay you for and conscience that still small voice within that assures you of what is right and that prompts you to actually do it excellent thank you so much so um in this uh, uh, part of the page that stephen covey is talks about body mind heart spirit and body is referring to your need mind is referring to your talent heart is referring to your passion or emotions and the fourth which is more important conscious is referring to your spirit so if you haven't discovered or you don't have understanding so you cannot find your voice because your unique voice which is only your voice lies at at the very central point where all these four dimensions connects with each other so we call it cortex so where we bo uh, all uh, body mind heart spirits meet that point is your voice so it means that in your voice your physical intelligence mental emotional or uh, social intelligence and spiritual intelligence all uh, mix together all work together in order to have uh, or identify your voice so that's a that's a great learning so one thing steven kavi is telling you on a very basic level uh, that your voice is uh, is a very unique and is revealed as uh, as we um, go and meet our body mind heart spirits in in a different dimension so uh, when you engage in work that taps your talent and fuels your passion that rises out of a great need in the world that you feel drawn by conscious to meet therein lies your voice you calling and your soul code so voice is something which is uh, which is a code when you uh, dial a code and it resonate uh, and you immediately find oh yes that's my soul voice and you feel it actually even though you cannot uh, uh, speak or but you can identify with your conscious that it is your soul uh, code uh, because you will not realize about uh, not to have its uh, unimportance you always feel it is something which is which it touches my soul have you seen uh, many areas of the life when you come across certain people when you come across in a different uh, uh, maybe drama or movie uh, some of the scenes where you become so connected become so emotional and maybe you start to cry in that thing not on superficial level but in a very deep down with the deep thinking which left a long lasting uh, impact on your soul or your for many days it happens yes it happens with me it happens with many people 
that type of fields are really of me we need i need to work on that if i want to uh if i i want to start a new business or i want to join a a workforce i need to be a work related to these things which are really my spirit which is really touches my heart as well so there is a deep in it almost inexpressible yearning within uh, each one of us to find our voice in the life the exponential revolutionary explosion of the internet is the one of the most powerful modern manifestation of this truth so here uh, dr steven is talking about something uh, more significant yeah uh, because he published this book in 2004 and that time was when internet or digital world was spreading all across the world uh, so he he thought that that the invention of internet or spreading this web worldwide world wide web is actually the truth of and it's a expression of a voice of this world that world is going to connect the same thing i'm connecting with you i don't know where you are listening to me which part of the world you are living but you can listen to me you can watch me i can spread my voice to you i can share my content to you i can help you to improving your health your health your wealth your happiness and your quality of thoughts as well but i am living and i am in a different part of the world how it is happening through internet so it means the internet or world www is a really truth and the voice of our modern age and if somebody wants to really successful he or she must connect with the internet and start to uh, shout start to say therefore the video streaming website and software are the highest grossing industry in the entire uh, planet for example the youtube for example the facebook for example they all are facilitating to connect your voice to rest of the world wherever you are beyond from your religion or your culture and uh, it's uh, amazing so that is a it's a great uh, saying from dr steven so because he talks about our uh it talks about our voice of the age which is internet so that's a, a habit number 8 is a starting thing which i wanted to be aware um next sunday we will continue this eighth habit part 2 and uh, we will actually learn about uh, a great story which was a uh, bottom a uh, theme of that book uh, which steven covey uh, mentioned about uh, from a legend nobel prize winner mohammad yunus uh, from bangladesh and he is a director and founder of gramin bank uh, which is a worldwide bank and also in bangladesh and he made his story as a theme of this habit that how he found his voice and uh, then in he mohammad yunus inspired millions of other people in bangladesh uh, and they found their voice as well and they start to bring a revolution in bangladesh history not only in bangladesh history but also rest of the world where it was applicable and that's therefore on this contribution mohammad yunus was awarded a nobel prize and uh, steven covey met him uh, actually uh, himself uh, like when he was writing this book or start to write, uh, write this book and he mentioned his true story in that book as well that as a preface of the book uh, a theme of the book so next week we will also read a quick story about uh, mohammad yunus and how Uh, the seven the eighth habit helped him uh, and he spread this eighth habit theme uh, in bangladesh and the rest of the world till today as well so 
Thank you for this section. That's our section number two about a habit. Uh, if you have any question, please let me know. And uh, you can comment on face, Facebook as well or on a YouTube as well. Uh, if somebody has not joined my YouTube channel, uh, there is a link in a comment uh, in a description of this video on Facebook or on Zoom. Uh, you can, I'm trying to make a community of great people like you are, uh, where I will um, share uh, insightful literature, uh, which I'm get benefit as well. And you can get benefit and learn more new things as well. So 